All right, y'all, we are going to go ahead and get started. So I don't know if I'm going to be playing this for the duration of stream, but um, you know what? I was, uh, I was trying to think of something that I wanted to play, get us start out, get us started out with. And uh, I was like, why the fuck? not why not do some sega bass fishing All right, so we are going to go ahead and get booted up. It's been a while since I, uh, since I've played, um, Sega Bass Fishing, but I'm looking forward to it. Are we broadcasting? Okay, yeah, we are. We're good. Sega. Sega. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do some uh, some arcade mode to uh, get back into the... Uh, let's start at the lodge. Lodge area. Enjoy your fishing. Thank you, I will. Select the lure. Select the casting point. Hey Sage, welcome in! Thank you so much for the raid and hello to our raiders. We are um, we're switching it up a little today from my usual fare with by playing a fucking fishing game, because that's that's the mood I'm in. I hope you all are doing well. We're getting some high octane fishing action. Oh. I gotta be careful not to break my line. There we go. 
I never played it when it was originally out for Dreamcast. Um, but I think I played the arcade version a couple of times. And, um, yeah, it's very fun. All right. Maybe over here. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Come on, you little shit. There we go. Okay, an average size. Good job. I love the way he says that. Okay, an average size. Not bad. Turtle. It's gone. Oh shit. Oh, that's a big one. Come on. Ah, all right. We're gonna try to get that big fucker. Oh, there's another one right over here, though. Uh, maybe let's try this one. That one had absolutely zero interest. Oh, we gotta hurry. We gotta get at least one more pound of fish. Oh, it was right in front of your face, you little asshole. Oh, we're gonna have to use a continue take two more quarters out of me. Time's up. Come on, come on. Yes, we're gonna continue. There we go. There we go. Got him. Mmm. How fancy. Go to next area. Cape area. Enjoy your fishing. Select the lure. Move rod to make pop sound. Ooh. Yeah, let's let's keep going with this one. I do like this one. I've got the Bassmasters Classic Pro on Super Nintendo. Oh my god, I love that. Ooh, big boy. See, I never really liked these games as a kid, but as I got older, I liked them a lot more. I don't know what it is. There we go. Don't think I had this game. Think I had a deer hunting game. Yeah. Do you guys remember uh, those um, those like plug and play uh, TV games that were like usually like fishing or hunting or something like that? We had a couple of those. Oh good lord, the time limit on this one is insane. Oh. He went for it and then didn't, didn't even. All right. First Xbox. I had a modded one. Oh shit! That's super cool. I miss the days of uh, hyper-specific um, peripherals for video game systems. Like, I actually tried to see if there was, like, a USB, um, fishing rod controller. Uh, 
to play this I game with, it. and unfortunately I have not found one. At least not one that would uh, work well from what I gather from the reviews. That one fish in the distance looking over at it. Oh! <laughs> Went for it and then just gave up. There we go. There we go. This is so nostalgic. I'm so glad. Okay, an average size. Good job. I do love fishing. I would love I to learn to cast. I got a rod. Oh, nice. It's been years since I've gone fishing. But, um... I would love to do it again. It's especially fun on camping trips because it's like, you know... You get, like your own it feels very satisfying to uh are you just gonna stare at it buddy i guess he is all right um there's something special about like going from the river to the fire you know or stove depending on what you have Ooh, there we go. Another big guy. Oh, that's not loud. Ooh, did we get in? Oh, a big one. Rank in. You got a special lure. Clear. Go to next area. area. Enjoy your fishing. Select the lure. All right. Select the casting point. We'll see what this little guy does just to switch things up. Haha! -ha. Big one right to start. This dude's a fighter, shit. There we go. Now this is a game I can get behind. <laughs> Holy Moses! A record breaking size for this in one. Area cleared. Well holy fucking no shit, we did it in area. one. <laughs> Enjoy your fishing. I fished an entire island, right? Select the lure. Select the casting point. Are there werewolf bass in this area or something? All right, nobody over here. Well, welcome in, everyone. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. We are starting off with something lighthearted and, uh, Where are they? Where's the bass? Up. 
Yes, I'm gonna continue. This game truly punked me, yes. Oh, welcome in, Mallow. Hey, I'm good. How are you doing? We are just uh, doing a little bit of fishing. Maybe over here? If there's no fish in this air, I mean, I don't think that that's possible. But it would be extremely fucking funny if there was actually no fish in this area. Doing well, just chilling, waiting for friends. Nice. Do you guys have any plans for the night? Doing any video games or, or real life outings? <gasps> there we go, big boy. All right, well, at least we know now where one is. Just playing Fortnite until I stream. Nice. Hope you, uh, hope you get some big dubs in Fortnite. Oh my god, this dude really does not want to go for it, huh? Then I'm gonna give it to that damn fire-breathing horse, right? God, the fucking draconic tree sentinel. Just when I thought fish did not exist in these waters, right? Oh, there we go! That sure is a fish, buddy. Okay, I'm not touching anything. Fucking got him. Wow, record size. Jesus. A record breaking size for this lake. You cleared all the areas. The biggest bass you caught. Grandmaster. Your bass fishing technique is great. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. Your name. Uh I mean, of course we're gonna do this. Oh. Hooray for ass! Oh yeah, I forgot! I did oo-woo before. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm incredibly... Creative with names. There isn't a single fish there, but him because he ate them all, right? Perfect name. Thank you. Oh, do we have to sit through this? None of my button presses are working. I guess we just have to vibe with this little fish dude until credits are over. And, uh,. While we're doing that, um, I'm going to take a bong rip, so anybody who might also be smoking, um, if you want to light up together, uh, cheers. I assume you enjoy fishing games because I have a nice fishing Thank game you suggest if you ever want to check it out. Oh shit! This is actually really the only fishing game that I have played much of. But I mean, I like it mechanically and I can definitely see myself playing other games that function game like this. Um, it's especially fun on controller. Um, it's much easier to like reel at different speeds. We're gonna do original mode. 
Oh, do I still have? I was seeing how what the character limit was for entering in your name. So um, I started a character named A. Dimitrescu, which is, of course, Alcina Dimitrescu. Is this her? Yes, it is! <laughs> diary? We can read her diary. Oh, okay, so that's just the fish that we've caught. Oh. There we go. Tackle box. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh my god. Do you prefer wizard or boxes? And I'm sorry if I've seen your name before and have just forgotten. I. Me brain no worky so good. But, um. I, like. I have been so into. Okay, yes. And I think I've seen you in V's chat before. Um. But, okay, cool. I, I kind of like boxes, so I think I will go with boxes. But, um, oh my god, I've been deep into Resident Evil Village for such a long time now. In fact, I was thinking about doing um, some uh, mercenaries mode after I get tired of uh, fishing. Alright, weather, fine. Water temperature 64F. So morning, I think they tend to be towards the bottom. We'll see. Yeah, I am so in love with all of the oh, women from Resident Evil Village. You got a special lure. Ooh. I don't think I've used that one before. New lore. Wow, this water sure is murky, huh? Holy shit! All right. I do not want to lose this guy. Oh god. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah. This one's huge. Oh, no worries. Thanks for thanks for coming and hanging out, boxes. Always appreciated. I hope work goes well. closer towards the shore. I think I have until 9 a.m. Ooh. 
Ooh, there we go. I can see a huge one right under the, uh, right under the boat, which is funny. So I'm gonna cast out at roughly the same spot, because... Like they're kind of in the shade. Time's up. Oof. I'm sorry, things have been going rough, maybe. That sucks. Mm. Thank you for joining us, though. So like the lure. like the casting point. Find it. Okay, so they're farther out. And always join my favorite cube wall. I am honored that I uh, still occupy that spot. I'm not a fan of this lore. We're gonna swap it out with... Maybe, maybe we'll... this way. We'll see. Fish go. Okay, so I need to let it go to the bottom bottom before I even start reeling. Oof. 
You know what? I don't think uh, anybody's going to notice if we just start over. I have a meeting with the school Thursday because idiotic expert accused me of crazy shit. Little does she know that I have Dave's worth of proof of being innocent. I hope it goes well. I'm Again, I'm sorry that that's happening. But especially, like, I mean, circumstances like that are... Enjoy your fishing. Wait. Well, uh... Original mode, that's what I'm meant to go back to. But yeah, I can imagine that's super fucking stressful, and I understand not wanting to be in the environment that you would, like, associate that experience with. Warning. So like the lure. All right. We're gonna go back to this little guy. Cause he seems to do relatively well. There we go. I forget, I forgot that you could give slack when you're reeling them in by turning your rod. Hope, uh, do you have fun with your friends tonight? I'm not a fan of Jesus, but I don't mean all that. But my school, they have a Bible study club that the members had to fight with the school to create. Meanwhile, last year I heard they had an occult club with no problem. So there's, so there's school for you. That's wild. The, oh, I have left this game unpaused. Jesus Christ. Yes, sorry. I got distracted reading chat. I should have paused. That's wild. I have literally never heard it in that order before where, uh, like an occult club had, uh, an easier time, um, getting recognized than, uh, Kind of established religion club. Amateur tournament day. Please do warning. All right, we're in it Select to win it four. this time. Select the captain point. There we go. Sorry for the mini rabbit schools pretty testing my own last oh, No worries. One. Yeah, I'm sorry. You got a special lure. Again, I know I've already said that twice, but I really am. That like is a shitty situation to to be in. I 
see you lurking in the shadows back there. them down there and they hardly took notice. Get off to oh. huh. Plus I'm the most quiet and frankly the only actual lesbian, so I suppose I'm the butt of everyone's rumor mill now. Yeah, I I feel that. I had a similar situation uh when I was in high school. Like, I was, like, the only person out at the time who identified as a lesbian. Um, at least, you know, in popular, well, like, known social circles. Damn, maybe I need some, maybe I need some practice. Uh, before I get back in, back into the competition mode, man. So let's do fine morning. Enjoy your fishing. Everyone laughs, but there's a good damn reason I prefer older one. I, again, I can very much uh, vibe with that. Should use maybe I should use a different lore because I was just thinking a heavier lore would sink faster. Oh God, no, that that doesn't work. Nice. I'm assuming goldfish like the like the animal, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, no, that one doesn't go near me to the top. <laughs> Lady D still winning. Well, actually, we're in practice mode because I was, uh, I was just not getting bites out of anything. Well, actually, no, I don't think I have this one in my, uh, uh, competitive tackle box, so I'm going to practice with someone else. Someone who avidly fishes, do you need help? Um, I mean, I appreciate the offer, but I mean, I'm, you know, I'm just kind of enjoying myself as I figure out how to play this game again. And, uh... Actually, I guess this little dude is the best at hitting deeper waters. Have you decided on any, uh, names for the goldfish? V, I am <laughs> both delighted by and infuriated by that pun. Great job. See, this is the problem I would run into. Ooh, there we go. Finally got one to bite. All right, so we need to be low, low to the, to the riverbed. You can see me flailing the, the rod, trying to balance out the tension. <laughs> I only just now noticed that. Out of curiosity, have you ever heard an old uh, SNES game called uh, Super Black Bass? I think somebody else was talking about that earlier. I think Sage was talking about that earlier. Um, it was some SNES game. But yeah, great job, V. All right. Now that we know, we will continue our uh, playthrough of the tournament mode with our uh, Fisher Fisherwoman uh, Alcina Dimitrask, because I managed to fit Dimitrask on the ID card. Anyway. All right. They might be closer like to the surface than I am. Mean. Right? why I, I decided on, on this game to start out with, but you know what? It's a fun game. Roses are red, violets are blue, mix cutter shit, line up. Pull sack. Sucks to be you. I am not sure what's trying to be conveyed here, but yeah, I realize I am, uh... Oh. Oh. I should have guessed. There we go. At least we'll end up with one. 
Oh, nice. You've got a special lure. Holy shit, I saw that big one underwater. Oof, we did not come out of this one well. I love how intense it looks underwater and the second it goes above camera, it's just oh, underwhelming, yeah. Oh, yikes. Noon. So like the lure. All right, well, we'll continue so with this boy. fella. gonna see if there's anything over here and if there's not we know to go over to the shore No takers, I see. This tournament mode, man. Oh yeah, no worries. Thanks for hanging out, whether, you know, actively or just lurking, you know? Alright, we're going back over here. Okay. Okay. 
Oh my god, he was just about to take it. Oh man. Someone's service dog alerted to me. <laughs> I'd just be going through it. I'm so sorry, Maeve. That is... That is rough. All right, we're gonna restart again, because <laughs> I'm terrible. And I don't care how many times I've subject you guys to this as I try to qualify for the third stage. All right, we're gonna go with this dude. <laughs> That's my favorite comfort streamer. That means a lot. I am, uh, I'm glad you find this all enjoyable. Ah, shit. Those were some fucking big ones, though. There we go. <laughs> yeah. this one's huge. Well, Maeve, it's always nice to to have you in chat and uh you got a special lure. You know. You and everybody here are part of what make the stream enjoyable, so thank you for being here. I think you guys are all pretty awesome. That's me expertly dodging, taking a compliment. Ah, shit. Oof. So close. Another big one. Hey man, don't be keep panicking yeah. over the smallest shred of approval. Well, I can't help that for ya, cause holy fuck! That was 20 pounds! Holy shit! I don't think I've ever caught a fish that big in this game. My god. Fucking segue. I was just shocked. I'm sorry. 
We'll see. I saw another big one lurking down there. We'll see if we can't get his attention. Oh. I was hoping it'd be the big guy, but... that one go us Time's up. ooh first fucking place baby ahead by almost 14 pounds Mwah. fucking love to see it Alright, I'm gonna continue going with this dude. And I'm gonna try closer to the shore first because it takes less time to to reel in. I accidentally reeled it right away from him. There we go. Nice. Should I make more glass noodles or ramen? Ooh. That's a tough question. Hmm. I vote ramen if you have the energy to like uh, perk up ramen with a with some some tasty add-ins. See if we can get one more. Thank you. 
All right. Well, we almost got 20 more pounds, so hopefully that should keep us close to the top. Hello, Haunted Galaxies. Welcome in. We are, um, we're just doing a little fishing. Evening. So like the lure. Uh, because I thought, why not? Why not do a little fishing? I hope you're having a good Tuesday. It's going pretty good. We're having fun with uh, some, as I said, some fishing. The, the change in tone. Small one. some tech stuff for my stream figured out so hopefully tomorrow I have a nice shiny bare minimum set hell yeah I hope all goes well once it launches uh, for, for the stream I totally understand how like fucking taxing that can be We were doing so good. And hello, Grace. Welcome in. Oh, I still... It's so good to see you. Hello, hello. I still have no idea how to do anything. I'm working on my PNG sprite, but I guess I at least have a step in the right direction. Though there is always a possibility the audio will bitch out the moment I go live. Ugh, yeah. Well, like I said, I hope it. I hope it all goes well. Um, I'm excited for the debut of your uh, PNG tuber once it happens. Okay, I thought I could lure him back, but apparently not. I may be overthinking the PNG design. Oof. I feel that. I overthink many things. Yes! Up. 
Oh, come on. <gasps> it didn't let me reel it in the rest of the way. I was, oh my God, I'm so mad. Damn it. We went from first to sixth. All right. I think I'm actually, I know, I love the music for this game. It's so good. Also, Grace, I don't know if you noticed, but um, I named her after Lady Dimitrescu because I was seeing if it could fit. Um, oh, I wonder if I go into the tackle box, if I can practice with certain or if it at least gives me a description. Ooh, gotcha. I think I do tend to like that one the best. Move the lure up and down to lure the bass. It's effective. Oh. So we should use that close by, like, man-made structures. This lure is effective in reed areas. Hmm, all right. What have I been using? The floating minnow. Hmm. Hey, Dimitrescu, I... <laughs> I am also really, really liking this energy. Um, I am going to be right back super quick, but it shouldn't take more than like a minute or two. So go refill your water or use the restroom or uh, whatever you need to do, get a snack, something, and we'll be back in just a second. Go ahead and uh, try third stage. See how we do, just for shits and gigs. We can always start over if we end up getting disqualified. Morning. Select the lure. Select the casting point. Oh, he's trying so hard to get it. Holy shit, those are some big ones too. My new boyfriend just asked me if he can start an Elden Ring file on my PlayStation, and I think I might be catching feelings. Nice. We love to come 
opposite of a red. I guess that would be a green flag instead of a red flag. Green light, true. Oh, I didn't know it made a little sound if you bumped into something. Asking people what their Elden Ring slash Dark Souls build is, is um, astrology for uh, trans and gender non-conforming people. I just, I had that thought and I knew I, I had to share it with the world because I'm right, objectively. Alright, at least we got a little something. Okay, an average size. Good job. You've got a special lure. <laughs> Except builds actually say something about personalities. True. I'm I mostly meant it in a jokey way. Because I've also known people who uh you know, like who have like horrific builds in terms of like, oh yeah, I just, you know, fuck everything up and destroy everything or whatever, you know. Um, and they're, you know, very kind, normal people in real life. Oof, we are not having much luck. Maybe. Maybe a little closer to shore? We'll see. You know what? We're gonna go play some arcade mode. <laughs> well, what does level one no upgrades build say about a person? Um, on the positive side, it says that uh, they are very like stick to their guns. Um, like when they get an idea, they're gonna do it, and uh, even if it's difficult, if they decide that's the way that they're like stubbornness, but in a good way, like steadfastness. Um, it also says that you uh, either have some um, very strange um, predilections or you're like a flagellant. Um, and of course, again, I say that jokingly and affectionately. Alright. Arcade mode time. Just to just to relax a little bit. It's coming here. Reliable and steadfast. Very exactly. I'm bonus. It's coming here. Just like I'm sure a strength faith build um, says something about uh, me. Although I am not entirely sure what. 
Downside, you probably have some kind of people pleasing or competitive toxic tendencies. But also, like, I can totally see it because it's like, sometimes hyperfixations just give us the urge to do, like, the weirdest shit to an outside observer. Um, like, why would you want to do this? Like, why are none of these fellas? None of these fellas be biting. Uh, that's how I am with uh, Resident Evil Village and like doing speed runs for the game. Like I love the story. I love the characters. Like I love like I've played that game all the way through like with in like a style I guess you would say is a long play. Um, because you know I like watch every cutscene. I try to read every note. Like I adore that game. But also one of my favorite things to do with it is to speed run it just for shits and giggles. And honestly, I'm not like, I don't think I'm a super competitive person. I think I was when I was a little bit younger, um, but in like weird ways, you know, um, I don't think I'm as competitive anymore. Um, But at the same time, I do like things that like have a slight competitive element to it. I don't know. It's like, I just don't, you know, I don't want to, it's a source of enjoyment now to be like, oh, cool. I beat my own time or, oh, wow. I'm like in this position compared to like all of these other people. Like that's fun, but also I don't make it my whole fucking life because that would just make it miserable. And that's the opposite of what I play games and do shit to do. Fish, 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 fish. I'm bonus. Like a millennia ran up to me and slashed me across my stomach, I'd die immediately. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed. Honestly, I play as level one because it makes the game most realistic. Honestly, I could totally see that. Uh, and I can absolutely understand the appeal of playing the game like that. Um, I think it's a bit beyond my abilities right now. But, like, I, again, 100% understand it. After you've savored everything, it's fun to set personal bests. Yes! That's such a good way of putting it. You know? Also, welcome in, Skelly. Thank you for joining us. We're just doing a little bit of arcade mode because we were really fucking it up in a story mode. There we go. Okay, an average size. Good job. You've got a special lure. I'm bonus. Ooh. Oh, I gotta do it from this. Oh no. I'm gonna have to put in two more quarters. Pines up. Oh, I think my personal best for um, Resident Evil 8 speedrun, uh, like a glitchless speedrun, is um, I want to say an hour and I think it's an hour and 44, an hour, hour 45, something like that. And like, you know. Next area. Cape area. Is that like, fishing. you know, the top 10, top 20, top, top 30, top 40, top 50. Like, no, it's not, you know, any of those. But like, hey, the fact that this game that took me, admittedly because I had died several times and, you know, was trying to get as much stuff as I could in my first playthrough, but like, that, uh, like, 
the first time I played through Resident Evil Village, I believe my save file was for like 15 hours. And so to like cut that down from that much to like under two hours is like a very weirdly satisfying feeling. So your familiarity with it makes it so the speed of your play doesn't subtract from the depth of the enjoyment. Right? Because I also like, you know, I mean, I talk constantly when, uh, you know, regardless, but uh, I will often talk about fun little things when I'm trying to do a speed run and like, I never, I haven't submitted any of mine officially. Um, because my internet's so terrible, I feel like it would take several days of interrupted connection to be able to do that. Okay, an average size. Good job. Um, I'm bonus. But also because I'll like pause the game or do like photo mode to just gush about the game more. Um, Cause that doesn't, well, no, it does count against live splits timer. I was thinking of the end game timer, but. I feel kind of similarly about glitching games. I love you so much, let me snap you over my knee. Right! That's, such, again, such a good way of putting it, Skelly. And I know exactly what you mean. It's like, I love, you know, after I found everything that I'm expected to find, I want to find some shit that, oh shit, nice. Um, like, I want to find some stuff I haven't seen before. This way. But yes, back over this way. Someday I'll get to the point where I can do a rune level one all bosses speedrun, but that day is not this year. Holy shit. Yeah, totally understandable. Yes, big boy. This one's huge. <gasps> Let's see. Welcome in. Thank you so much for joining us. Go to next area. Inlet area. Enjoy your fishing. We are uh, enjoying some enjoying some Sega Bass fishing. Hope you're, uh, hope you're having a good Tuesday. Yes, there we go. Totally thought you were gonna be playing Animal Crossing. Nope. Good job. I'm bonus. Nope, we are playing Honest to God Sega Bass Vision. Unrelated, but I've started working out more with swords and eating properly, and I've already started reaching the buff thembo status I crave so much. Fuck yes! We love to hear it. It's coming here. 
fulfilling fulfilling your true potential. Oh no, we're gonna have to put more quarters in. Yes, we're gonna continue. But it snowed, so I can't practice outside with him getting all wet. Oh, no. I understand. I, like, haven't used my sword for anything fun yet. Um, but the moisture thing, I totally get. Oh, come on. Nice. We're gonna big, get that big one, so help me God. Okay, an average size. Good job. You got a special Hell yes. To the ghosts and uh, space things. I've been karate. I've been in karate, and I've bought a funny lightsaber, so I've been thinking about flow. Ooh, hell yes. Um, I. Like, I've only seen a couple of flow art streams, uh, but I've been to several music festivals in my life, so yes, I am familiar <laughs> with flow arts. Um, but that's cool as shit. I would, you know, highly, you know. I wonder if, uh, if you could do, like, virtual flow art with Beat Saber. I wonder if that's what part of why uh, Beat Saber is such both a popular game and, like, popular to watch. This is like the same reason like, you know, flow is enjoyable to watch. I still need to get my Resident Evil Village tattoo. I keep talking about it. I keep being like, oh, I'm gonna put money back for it. But then it's like, I need tires or like, ah, this procedure is out of pocket and not covered by my insurance <laughs> and shit like that. But by God, I will get it one day. Can't stick around for too long. Got an episode recorded in a bit. Oh, no worries. Absolutely no worries. I hope, uh, I hope recording goes well. Uh, do you... Are you cool with uh, divulging what uh, next episode's topic's gonna be? Also, feel free, um, if you can't send the link, whisper it to me. You should be able, let me, let me try really quick. Um, but if you wanna post a link to your podcast, um, that's totally fine. Um, Okay, I think that should hopefully work. We'll see. If it doesn't, again, just whisper it to me and I will post it. But yeah, um, uh, Lexi and Kimberly do a podcast uh, talking about like horror movies, horror culture in uh, general. Um, which is like super fun. Um, God. I have to look, I have to look up the name again. Um, ah, shit. Well, if you just want to whisper it to me, um, I will, uh, I will post it in chat. All right, let's see if I can get on a page on Twitch without my entire uh, internet shutting the bed. Oh, 
I really need to figure out how to fix that. Okay, cool. So I will copy. Oop. There we go. So hopefully that should work. But uh, yeah, podcast is guarded by demons. And uh, I've only been able to listen to a couple of episodes, but I have enjoyed what I've heard so far. I'm going to get tattoos of a sigil down my arm. I can post a sketch in the drawing room on Discord. Ooh, please do. Also, uh, Lexi, I don't know if you've joined our Discord, but you are more than welcome um, if you'd like to. But yes, I would very much like to see the sigil that you're wanting to get tattooed. I want to get the... Um, for a long time, I thought about getting like a sword tattoo because, I mean, I love swords. And, uh, I'm very much a sword lesbian. Um, but, uh, also when I played Resident Evil Village, I was like, I, like, have got to get something to commemorate just, like, how much of an impact this game had on my life. Um, and so I kind of combined the ideas, and I want to get a tattoo of the Dagger of Death's flowers, um, on the inside of my right forearm um which is ironically the dagger that ethan um stabs lady dimitrescu with that uh hurts her badly enough to force her to transform uh it's like the only weapon that's been forged that can like really kill kill her other than i assume a nuke i think a nuke would probably do it Oh god, the only Good job. the only I real memory that I have related to Repo the Genetic Opera is like it was my sophomore year of college and it was during like I think it was either finals week or senior week, which senior week was like a week where there was no classes, um, but everybody not everybody, but like, you know. A good chunk of people, like I think it was seniors and like two guests that they invited. Um, but you could um, stay for a week on campus and there's just like no classes, but you know, you'd still go to the dining hall and stuff like that. And it was the week leading up to graduation. Um, but regardless, um, it was my sophomore year, which was the year that I had been diagnosed with um, bipolar disorder. And uh, so there's a lot of stress about like finding a doctor that could prescribe me. You know, I had just started being in therapy again. And so that was a big stressor. And anyway, so I find a doctor and the doctor was really great. I literally went to him until I aged out because he technically like did pediatrics. Holy shit, all right. Um, but, uh, he, uh, like, the, the first, um, mood stabilizer he prescribed me was, um, Risperidone, and which also previously was known as Risperdol, um, and they changed the name after they, uh, got sued a shit ton because of the side effects of their medication when not used in like severe cases and like i don't blame the doctor like he was like you know he was like your symptoms seem severe i'm you know going to prescribe you something strong and see if it helps but um like i had what is basically a this mental allergic huge. reaction to uh risperidone and it threw me into what was like basically a month long um month long panic attack like my resting heartbeat was like always over 110 pretty much like i was so constantly anxious like i would have to leave class to uh go vomit it was terrible it was terrible um and like at the end of that year my uh 
like my girlfriend at the time um we a lot of times we would like go into different classrooms like ones that had like big projector screens in it and we would like hook up our own laptops and like play movies and stuff which uh you know i don't know if it was allowed but nobody ever got in trouble for it and i just remember like trying very hard to to like focus on this movie and i was like i was caught in my head the entire time but i was like no like this is very visceral like look at uh look at the organ repossession please <laughs> welcome back Maeve. we're talking about um Repo the Genetic Opera and uh, unfortunate associations we have with it. Like, it's not like, you know, I'm not, you know, I can never hear or see anything about Repo or else, you know, like, it's not, like, really a, a triggering thing for me or anything, but it's it's just kind of funny to me that I was like, yeah, the one memory I have of Repo the Genetic Opera was uh, when I was watching it while I was actively having to force myself not to lose my goddamn mind because... Uh, of an allergic reaction to a mental health medication. Thank you for playing. You're welcome. Mm. Okay. Let's do a little bit of practice mode before we hop back into, um... Hop back into career mode. Repo wasn't very fun to me me to watch tbh it was all over the place and not very fun away for me honestly yeah i can understand that all right so we were at we were actually at the lodge i think in the uh, stage three Select weather. also i'm gonna hit the spawn again really quick uh if anybody else would like to join cheers I also had a panic attack the first time I watched it. I couldn't pay much attention. What the fuck is with this movie and being present during traumatic experience? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Maeve. I'm glad you're doing better. Mr. Rogers is very much like a like a spa day for for the soul. Large area. Enjoy your fishing. So like the lure. I wonder if the grub works well around this. towards it and then didn't even bite it. It was just so saturated and gave me the kind of headache that makes you really sleepy. Oh, that sucks. Have you played Sega Bass Fishing? I don't know how um, how accurate to actual fishing it is. But, okay, we're gonna try round three again and see how we do. And then I think we might switch over to Soul Calibur just for shits and giggles. Oh no, I like, I, I don't doubt that like you have plenty of fishing experience. It's just that like, I don't know if Sega Bass Fishing is like a accurate, like to real life kind of simulation 
or if it's a bit like Guitar Hero, where it's very, very simplified. Um, so like the more. Yeah, that was not like a judgment of your abilities so like whatsoever. To Lures, I'd say yes. Okay, cool. I mean, I do like these lures where you just basically like slowly reel in. Nice. Ooh, the rattles are actually BBs. Gotcha. So it sends off kind of a vibration. I'm guessing. True, I was also disappointed with the songs. I was excited about it being a musical, but was hella disappointed with the songs. I don't think I liked any of them. Yeah. Love to see it. So close, yet so far. I like some of the songs, but not to go back and listen to them. Ballad. If I ever hear the name of Shiloh again and it's not a cute little dog, I'm gonna go bonkers. I was so glad that I was able to make it to a uh, shadow cast of Rocky Horror this year. Hmm, we'll see maybe over on this side. There's a whole little cluster of them right there. It was so much fun. I was, um... I was shocked at how many uh, call-outs I could still remember because it has been so long since I've been to Rocky Horror. Um, I was kind of surprised that um, nobody... Uh, but me uh, used one of my favorite callouts, which is, um, it's, oh, sorry, not the mic. It's when um, Rocky is resting in the marital bed after uh, being, you know, wed to Frankenfurter. And uh, Riff Raff comes in and he picks up that standing candelabra and attacks Rocky with it. And whenever he starts attacking Rocky with it, you're supposed to yell, Happy Hanukkah, motherfucker! And it's... <laughs> I was the only one in the theater who yelled it. And it was, uh... It was, it was very fun. And then also, um... Towards the end, when, um... Uh... Spoilers for a, like, 40-year-old movie. Actually, I'm not sure when Rocky Horror came out. Uh, 40 years sounds right. 
Um, but, uh, at the end when Rocky is climbing the radio tower with Frankenfurter on his back and uh, Riff Raff eventually like shoots it down and makes the tower collapse. It's accompanied by this like plane crash sound effect like that meow, kind of uh, 45 I believe holy shit yeah but it was accompanied by that kind of sound effect so when they crashed i was like oh my god they hit the fucking pentagon <laughs> try a soft plastic worm all right we'll try it with that instead Look, sometimes inspiration just strikes. Warning. Okay. Select the lure. Oh, yeah, grab. Select the casting point. It's coming near. Nice. Yes, my name is Carly. Oh, a big one. It was a fun crowd. Um, it was like Halloween themed, so they encouraged people to wear costumes, but at that point I did not have a costume. Um but uh my friend lent me some um spare elf ears that they had <laughs> um, from like one of their uh, Link costumes. And so I was just like in regular clothes but with elf ears. They are showing no interest in this. Call me maybe. I mean, you know, I used to resent that, uh, that joke, but you know what? Carly Rae Jepsen is a, a musical genius. And I have no, uh, shame in being associated with her, even if it's entirely surface level. worse could have done worse Bite it. it's gone it's coming near It does. Okay, I love man, I love the voice acting Good in this job. game. Got a special lure. It's such a delight. We're gonna give this another shot. Y'all got a favorite fish? Um, honestly, I love how fucking creepy and weird angler fish are. Unless you're talking about the food kind of fish. Um, 
then I, uh, I like catfish, um, and I also like cod. Clownfish are also very cute. Alright, we're gonna give it one more shot. One more shot. And then we'll s switch over to, uh, Soul Calibur. Morning. Select the lure. Select the casting point. Lower the rod! Low, low, lower the rod! <laughs> oh, jeez. He's so angry about it. Turn it, turn it. <laughs> oh, a big one. All right. Nice, pulled that one in quick. Okay, an average size. Good job. Nice. Favorite bugs? Okay, Ooh, that's a good size. question. Um, let me think. Oh, I can't think of their name right now, but um, those pink and yellow moths that look fake because they're so cute. I love those guys. Good job. You've got a special lure. Rosy Maple, yes. Okay, an average size. Good job. It's coming here. Holy shit, did I figure out an exploit? Okay, an average size. Good job. Did I just figure out an exploit? If I keep twisting my rod while I'm reeling in, it won't. Okay, so it's not foolproof, but that does work. Okay, an average size. Good job. Okay, an average 
Ooh, feather tail centipede. I'll have to look that up. Just a quick little grab. Good job. Ah. Twenty two pounds isn't terrible. Oh shit! There we go. Top top four. Noon. So like the more. All right, we're still gonna go with this one because I seem to be having the best luck with it. A big dude over there though. deserted over here. Looking in all the wrong places. I can't believe that this along with Dark Souls Remastered, is uh, apparently among the hardest games I've played on stream. Alright, there's something. Maybe they're actually closer to here than... Ooh, Cue Ball Carly does have a good ring to it. Like a cheesy, like, cartoon gangster name. Oof, I do not think we are gonna do so hot in this round, folks.
Just, just stared at it. Did nothing and just stared at it. Yeah, I actually posted a link to it earlier. Um. Evening. So like the lure. Remind me, and I will post it again. Um. Select the casting point. Of course, that one bites instead of the two bigger ones. Another little one. Is that one average, but okay, whatever. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> All of these small ones just immediately taking the bait. Uh. Well, we didn't do as bad as I thought. Tenth place. Does that mean we... Alright. We're now in third overall, but... Could be doing worse. Alright, so I think now we are going to switch over to some Soul Calibur to have some more twitchy fun. Um, but we will be back soon. Uh, probably going to take maybe a 10 minute break. So again, you guys take that opportunity to uh, refill your water, go get something to eat stretch, use the restroom, whatever you need to do. Um, let me post that. I need to uh, download these sound clips for when I get to see cook. Uh. I, yeah, I love the, both the voice acting and the soundtrack for Sega Bass Fishing. Like, shockingly delightful. But, uh, yeah, we will be back in just a few minutes uh, and hope to see you guys there.
right. We are back. Thank you for your patience, guys. I am just getting the game booted up. I think. Yes, okay. We have switched categories successfully. And are we good? Oh. Okay, cool. We are good. Nice. So I'm gonna I think I've got the volume levels balanced pretty well. Yeah, that seems that seems fine. Maybe a little lower. Hmm. All right. You guys be sure to let me know if um it's too loud or too quiet. <laughs> Thank you for the warm welcome back, Maeve. See, I managed to to fuse my um soul caliber fixation with my elden ring fixation um by putting my elden ring character here in soul caliber i'm so glad to hear that i really appreciate that i can be like you know a, a calming or helpful <laughs> presence in in people's lives you know because i'm like I started streaming on Twitch to, like, you know, hang out with friends while I play video games, and then also, like, maybe make new friends who also play games or like to watch playing games or whatever, you know? Like, it also, it's cool that I've met people outside of uh, normal gaming channels and stuff. Um, but yeah, like, that's what I joined for was to, to hopefully, uh, Make buds and spread good vibes. As cheesy as that sounds. Alright. Mitsurugi. Hmm. Something in the air sends a tingle down my spine. No. Could it be another astral fissure has spawned? I shall investigate the area. You two stay put. I know this feeling. More berserkers, I wager. Forget Natalie. I will not, not let a good fight pass me by. Let's go, Brona. I fucking guess. All right. Oh, a cutscene. I don't know that I've had a cutscene before. Oh. Dude, don't you think that's a rather extreme reaction to this dude that you've never met before? Clearly not human either. 
I have no idea what's going on. I'm just trying not to die. That's disappointing. Sooner or later, I will face you in battle. Just you wait. Also, I'm going to take another bong grip, so anybody else who might be joining, cheers. Fucking suplex him. Fucking sense of hotbox. I appreciate it. I am absolutely hotboxing. Hotboxing your room and spirit. Mm. There he goes. I think we might have gotten him. Perfect. Hell yes. Love to see it. Your soul surges in your body. Ooh, cool. So we unlocked a... Looks like we unlocked a couple of extra stories in the... Um, I think, is this one the Libra of Soul? And then the other one is, yeah. This is Libra of Soul and then Soul Chronicle. We should check those out. So we have a new thing for, oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, so that it's just a little note that we get. Oh, hang on. I have to sneeze. Fuck, as soon as I said that, I lost my ability to sneeze. Of course. I thought it would, was a new, uh, like, um, matchup thing you can do. Yeah, it's just a little, just a little notch in the timeline. Oh, I posted the Discord link a second time. Let me, I'll do it again. All right, The Witcher. With the fight over, I thrust my hands into the astral fissure to claim its power. Hey, what the hell's going on here? I will not allow you to interfere. This needs to happen. She destroyed the gate? Hmm, can't say I expected that. With a sigh, the strange man turned and began walking away. Where are you going? We have unfinished business. Easy now. Got things to attend to, as I'm sure you must too. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about not having to fight with him again, because the Gerald, uh, or Geralt, I don't know if it's a hard, hard G, which is, or, hard G is J, and soft G is G, right? Or um, do I have it backwards? Either way, I don't know if it's Geralt or Geralt. 
If my free previous actions offended you, I ap fully apologize. I'm Tsurugi Heishiba, and you are Geralt of Rivera Witcher. Or Geralt of Rivia Witcher. What the? The man made a sudden sharp gesture towards Mitsurugi, his fingers tracing a symbol in the air. Instantly, the samurai's movements became sluggish. What, what devilry is this? Relax, you'll be fine. Just walk it off. Geralt turned and walked away, leaving Mitsurugi bound by the strange power. Hey, you think this can stop me? Yeah. <laughs> With a burst of strength, Mitsurugi broke through the invisible bonds holding him. <laughs> okay, then. Gerald, was it? Okay, so it is Gerald. With a J sound. I would be most interested in a real duel with him. P perhaps he has not gone far. I could catch up if I make haste. My apologies, Brona, but this is where our paths diverge. Take care and keep your wits about you. Mitsurugi hurried off after Gerald, just as Natalie returned. I believe I told you to wait. What happened to the astral fisher and that samurai? I quickly explained what happened. If the astral fisher has been dealt with, then we should get moving. Forget the samurai. He could do as he wishes. Alright, that's a very... Thanks for not having a... Freak out reaction. Holy shit, level 44. The information was correct. Approach the target. When we neared the astral fissure, a berserker ap appeared. What the? Natalie's eyes widened. Silently, she backed away, shaking her head in disbelief. Curtis? Why? How? Also, I know I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I love the juxtaposition of, like, you know, very, like, fantasy-esque, or at least, you know, uh, like, medieval adjacent uh, or ancient or classical sounding names uh, for fantasy games like this and then you just have like normal ass names like Natalie and Curtis Curtis is really the one that kills me like <laughs> Natalie seems shaken looking closer I noticed that the berserker was wearing an Aval uniform hmm uh, I must stop as well Sir Curtis, it is I, Natalie. Aswell betrayed us. Sir Curtis. Grief in Natalie's voice did nothing to stir the berserker's emotions. In a trance, she began to wander towards him. I stopped her and readied my weapon. What was I thinking? He is a berserker and must be defeated. Gr- Gr- I am not going to subject you guys uh, to my attempts at like growling and roaring sounds in earnest. Motherfuckers named like B Bacali Bacali Lewis, and then the motherfucker named Ryan. Truly, fucking truly. Nice. Forgive me, Grow. I failed you. I should never have accompanied you. The berserker disappeared, leaving behind a heavy silence. You never stopped caring about Grow. Was it not he who caused your death? 
Those two definitely explored each other's bodies. Gro and Curtis. Would that be uh, Gertis or Crow? I, Gertis is objectively better, but I understand why people would want to use Crow instead. Natalie slumped down where the berserker disappeared, her expression unreadable. I'm fine. Natalie stood and turned to me. We need to meet up with Dion and destroy the other astral fissure. All right. Your soul surges in your body. I want to go back to... God. Oh, what's in Mashad? Side quests, I don't care. About. I'm kidding. Sometimes I'm on and off about reading dialogue. I probably will with the main story stuff moving forward because, um,. Oh shit. Okay. I swear to god I'm done with lesbians. My best options are myself and <laughs> rated cute ball. I mean, I understand that feeling because I felt that way uh, especially like um, like I know you're in college but I like weirdly lucked out and uh, ended up going to a college that was like uh, very like like the whole campus was like very queer you know um, which was uh a surprising but not unwelcome change of pace and so it was like before that though like me being the only out lesbian at my high school um, I like I was very much like well looks like I'm never ever gonna have any options ever oh no 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 everyone I know is a bitch oh, yeah well hopefully like when you're able to transfer you might be able to find some place that's like a little more like chilled out um people can dunk on them all day but like you know lots of like liberal arts schools uh are you know pretty like open-minded when that comes to that kind of thing uh i <laughs> not to like continue going off while we're trying to do this story mode thing but, um, I, uh, like, this, the college that I went to was, um, well, it's technically a university, but, uh, it was a historically women's college, and it was shocking because, like, you typically expect, like, a private school, um, it's, you know, mostly a single-sex institution or whatever, um, to be, like, very, like, uh, preppy, like, moneyed horse girl type stuff. And there was, like, a handful of people like that at the school, but the vast majority of people were just, like, it was just a bunch of fucking gays who, ended, you know, who were like, yeah, why not? Let's give it a shot. And, uh, I remember, like, touring there, and I asked the tour guide, uh, like, hey, do you know, like, roughly, like, how, like, much of the campus, um, identifies, like, somewhere on the LGBTQ plus, uh, spectrum? And she actually had an answer, uh, and she was like, actually, we did a study, like, two years back, I think, I can't remember what year it was. 
And uh, roughly like 72% uh, of the camp is reported as being, you know, like somewhere on that like not straight slash cis um, spectrum. And A, I was surprised that they had actually reported that and B, like the fact that that like she had the answer uh, at the ready like that. Um, and guess what? Because it was such a small school, when I eventually got in and, like, started going there, me and that tour guide became friends. What's up, Mariah? I hope you're doing well. <laughs> oh, I'm at a liberal arts school? Gotcha. Yeah, it's like, that's why I hesitated to say that, because it's like, it seems like it's so hit or miss. Like, and I'm not saying the school I went to was perfect by any means, because it absolutely was not. Um, but like, it was better in a lot of aspects than other schools tended to be. Oh, Song Mina, Song Mina. I think Song Mina is how you pronounce it. <gasps> Lizard Man. Yeah, that's understandable. Oh. <laughs> Was not even close to hitting him with that. Oh. Nice. How much did we win with that? in your body. Ooh, okay. We eventually found the bandit's hideout nestled deep in the forest in the mountains. Wong, let's split up and attack them from both sides. I'll slip behind their camp and hit them from the back. You can handle yourself pretty well, but there are a lot of them. Be careful. I made my way through the dark forest after Wong left. Just when I thought I should have reached the hideout, it dawned on me that I hadn't encountered any guards or lookouts. Something was wrong, and that's when I sensed someone behind me. I spun around just in time to see a figure striking at me. Hey, yeah! <laughs> you parried my attack. You must be the leader of the bandits, then. You're too late. I already took care of all your lackeys. The woman ready her weapon. You're the only one left. Prepare to face justice. <laughs> Thought I found someone a few days ago, but they ghosted. Ugh. Ghosting always sucks. I hate that that's like a, a norm. Like I totally, like I understand it in some situations. Um. Oh my god. Girl came ready to throw the fuck down. These guard breaks are so dramatic. I forgot she says, I'm pissed now. That was a nice little finisher, though. Ugh. Not bad. But there's no way I'm letting an evildoer like you get away with this. Fight me one more- Stop me, Nam. Nah. She's not one of the bandits. Huang appeared from the direction of the hideout and stopped the woman. Huh? Huang? 
What are you doing here? I came here looking for you. It's great you got rid of the bandits, but couldn't you have at least told me you were coming here before you left? I, uh, got really worked up and just kind of ran off? <laughs> Mina, we can't protect our... We can't protect our country if it's just you making all the moves, right? I I'm sorry. When I asked Wong about the leader of the bandits, he replied that he had taken care of him. Mina, I asked this person to lend me, lend me a hand in dealing with the bandits. Oh, okay. I'm sorry I mistook you for one of them and attacked. You're not hurt, are- Oh, oops. Wow, it's been a while. I couldn't see your face before, so I had no idea. How have you been? We celebrated our reunion with a quick, pleasant chat. Wong looked relieved to see Song Mina happy. So you attacked someone you knew without realizing who it was? What would you have done if you had actually hurt her? I'm glad he's asking the questions that we are. I asked Mina if she had found Soul Edge. She shook her head. No, I haven't found it, but that's okay. A lot happened after I met you. I realize now that I don't need a sword to protect my country, because we are going to protect it. Mina's eyes were filled with determination. She seems far more mature than when we, we had first met. Thanks again for your help earlier, Brona. We're going to he head back now, but if you happen to be our, in our neck of the woods, so stop by the Song Dojong. A warrior like you is always welcome there. I'll keep training so I'm able to beat you when you show up. I uh, I swapped uh, up where it was in the sa like I first read that I was I'll keep training so I'm able to beat you up. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I don't think, like, you know, you don't, you don't have to dip out. Like, if you would rather, you know, do something else, like, that's totally understandable. But, um, actually, I wanted to do this, whatever it is. I hope uh, my mediocre attempts at several year old fighting games are able to uh, be a pleasant distraction from, um, from at least some of the shit going on in your life. Oh. There we go. It's just slowly realizing, like, so I like someone I consider a friend. I'm just gonna ignore that. Yeah. That struggle is real. Oh shit. I don't think we have a weapon that. I don't think we have anything that high of a level. Let me. Oh no. Th this is actually. Oof, but that does so much more damage. But we do... We do have these buffs on it. I think we're going to stick with that for the time being. Alright, let's end this expedition and head... I think Kashgar is where... Yes, that's where Bolta's smithy is. Ah, shit. Okay, actually it doesn't look like we have anything going on anywhere else, so we'll continue to Soza Pool. Oh, 
Well, I hope I, you know, any way it goes, I hope it goes all right, you know, no matter what, like, responses are and stuff. The rendezvous po point of clamorous battle was taking place between the qualifiers and the Aval organization. My eyes fell upon an, uh, an injured Dion. At last you made it. It was Aswell. We tried to slow, to slow him down, but he broke through our lines. You go on ahead, Brona. We will deal with the threat here. I left Dion and Natalie and headed for the Astral Fisher, but soon found my path blocked by qualifier warriors. And yeah, like, I, I definitely had, like, moments in college where I had a crush on one of my friends, like, admitted it to them, and, like, they turned me down. And it was no big deal whatsoever because it was just like, oh, like, you know, like, as long as you respect, like, that boundary, like, oh, okay. And you just, like, don't pursue it or press it or, like, you know, like, act dejected about it. And that's not to say that it's not okay to, like, feel disappointed. It's just, like, you can't let that impact, like, how you like, interact with that person, you know? And, like, another important thing is, like, learning to not, like, think of being, being friends with someone as a consolation prize, you know? Like, and I'm not saying, like, you're doing any of this. It's just, like, little reminders that I, like, gave to myself whenever, you know, I got rejected or something. Well, like I said, I hope it goes well. I had wasted too much time. Frustrated, I hurried out of the forest, only to find Aswell and no astral fisher in sight. You didn't make it easy for me, but still, you have failed spectacularly. I have claimed the astral fisher for myself. Hmm? Where's my darling grow? I simply love to watch him squirm and suffer on that razor-thin line between reason and malice. As well, please don't use the word squirm ever again. Allow me to share something wonderful with you. I'm nearly there, you know. Just a little more. One measly astral fisher. And I shall be able to summon the swords and achieve ultimate power. Well, how does it feel to be on the brink of defeat? You must feel so delightfully desperate, no? <laughs> I wish I could stay and observe, but alas, I am too busy. Merci et au revoir. Aswell sauntered away. I wanted to pursue him, but there were too many qualifiers. With, the, with little other choice than to leave, I turned and headed to meet Dion and Natalie. Okay. Hell yeah. Good for you, Maeve. It is, uh, like, I find for myself it's good to set a deadline because that encourages me to, like, actually do something, but I also, like, it, like, both gives me breathing room and, again, a deadline. So, very helpful. There we go. I actually kind of like the slippery ring ones. Especially when it's an area where you can get ring outs. It 
looked as though there was trouble on the road up ahead. As I got closer, I noticed two young men attempting to pull what appeared to be a merchant from his carriage. W what are you doing? Stop! We recognize that crest, you royal lapdog. You're bleeding us dry and getting fat on what you take from us. Because of you filthy merchants and aristocrats, we commoners don't have enough money for food. But you know, we're reasonable people. You leave this carriage and your cargo here and we'll let you escape with your life. H how dare you, you little thugs. Who do you think I... Mm. Shut your trap, you dirty miser. Enraged, the two knocked the merchant unconscious. It was then I decided to intervene. I stepped in front of the two men. What, you here to save this guy or something? In that case, you're an enemy of Schwarzwind. Oh, don't sweat it. About your Discord pick. Nice. There we go. Two men who called themselves members of the Schwartzwind put up quite a fight, but in the end I was able to incapacitate them. As I comp contemplated what to do with them, I was approached by a group of three people. I'm sorry to trouble you, but would you mind handing those two fools over to us? The likely leader of the group, a young woman, stepped forward and introduced herself. My name is Celia. These two men are former comrades of mine. After leaving our group, they've been causing trouble and sullying the good name of the Schwartzwind. We came here to put an end to that. They're idiots, that's for sure, but I'm to blame for not keeping a tighter leash on them. I intend to take them back and ensure they get a proper punishment, so if you wouldn't mind. I agreed to the young woman's passionate plea and stepped away from the other two men. quietly remembers that the fact I secretly wrote myself to a video game I worked on. Lua dating said I couldn't resist it. No one realized. I mean, you know? Very, uh, I love that you shot your shot and got away with it. That's fantastic. Thank you. I apologize for the trouble they've caused you. I was curious as to what kind of group Schwartzwind was. When I asked the young woman, she quickly looked away. I'm grateful you didn't take the lives of these men, but our group is a separate matter altogether. If you truly want to know more about us, then you'll have to come to our headquarters. The young woman proceeded to tell me the location of her group's base of operations, then carried away the two unconscious men. Oh, that was, yeah, an In Search of Strength one. Wait, what was this one? Sorry. Yeah, let's do that one and then move up like that. Now my likeness is entombed in a 17th century France. Vaguely erotic 300k world work novel. Congrats. 
That is also a very good, uh, um... A great place to have one's presence, truly. There we go. But yeah, I love I love that for you, Maeve. Oh, I just got a mercenary. Shit. All right. Oh, is this another one of Thomas's quests? I love helping out that little twink when I can. Oh. Yes, just remember that if it's like not safe for work to post it in the um, the boudoir, which is the NSFW channel. Nice, there we go. Lord gave me some fragrant white truffles. I need to hur hurry and deliver them to Samark and... Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna do these next two locations and then we will uh, head to the other side of the map. Because it looks like there's some more, maybe, like, story-based locations. Cool. I Thank you for, yeah. Thank you for double-checking that. I swear to God, working on those chapters corrupted me. I, oh, God. I have several, I, like, that's a fib. I have an ungodly amount of ideas that I've been wanting to write down as, like, you know, kind of one shots and uh, I your your dedication in like in terms of you know helping with a published game at uh, Look at him! He got his little special attack landed. There we go. I used to be able to crank out so much writing, especially smutty writing, uh, on a whim. A body like steel! Oh my god, that's the name of the achievement that I just got. Beautiful. I could see lights shining through the trees from deep within the forest. It appeared as though the information I received earlier about the location of the Schwartzwind base could be trusted after all. Several young people were gathered in front of what looked to be a headquarters. And I approach, as I approached the building, paying no mind to the frosty st stairs of the sentries, I happened upon a tall young man seated on a wine barrel by the entrance. Who the hell are you? 
I told the man about my encounter with Salia and that she had instructed me to come here. Oh, so you're the one who stopped those two clowns. Glad you came. The name's Landau. We're looking forward to you joining us. It seemed the man misunderstood my reason for coming. When I tried to ask him what he meant by joining, he quickly stood up. All right, chumps, let's give her the usual treatment. Excuse me. Did story shit up so wild I literally wrote in runes so in case my family member ever picked it up it was like squiggles. Oh my god. There we go. Pandemic may had some moments. True. I feel like so many people can relate to that. You're right, I was open. There we go. Phew, you're pretty good. You're almost as good as I am, and only Siegfried's ever bested me. We could really use someone like you. It appeared this was some sort of crude initiation. I was about to explain to him that he was mistaken about my reasons for coming here when I heard a voice call out from afar. Hendow, what are you doing? This person is not a new recruit. Huh? But you said the other day that you found a good one. This is her, right? I mean, she's really strong. All I said that it was it all I said was that it would be nice if she joined us. I never said she was actually going to. Huh? So that's what you meant. Uh, uh I'm sorry for putting you through that then I'm so sorry that another member of our group has caused you more trouble I told her that I didn't mind and once again asked her about Schwartzwind Schwartzwind is a group of like-minded individuals gathered under the banner of our commander Siegfried truthfully at first we were little more than a band of thieves and misfits that meddled in the affairs of the corrupt aristocrats and merchants who had a stranglehold on the population. One night, under cover of darkness, Schwart Schwartzwind attacked a group of knights returning from a long campaign. Siegfried led the charge, overwhelmed their commander, and slew him. As if the heavens were celebrating his victory, the moonlight shone upon the face of the man Siegfried had triumphantly killed. That commander was none other than Siegfried's long-lost father. The realization that he had murdered his own father destroyed Siegfried. After that, he disappeared. We still don't know where he is. I can still hear the grief-stricken screams he let out that night. But I believe he will return someday, and it's important for us to be there for him when he does. Because without us, he would have no one to return to. And that's why we're working as mercenaries for the people here, while of course still operating as Schwartzwind. Salia's fi filing in as our leaders while Siegfried is away. But leading this kind of life can be pretty boring at times, so some members go off and do their own thing. That's why we thought it would be nice if you joined us, you know, as a way to raise group morale. Alas, fair maiden, I must part, for I must make dinner until next Until next time, we're Discord. Farewell, ma petite fleur. Have a good one, Maeve. I hope, uh, I hope dinner turns out well. Hope you have a great rest of your night and a uh, great rest of your week, too. 
I told them well, that while I was honored, I would have to turn them down. I was on a quest of my own. This is so much dialogue for a side quest. <laughs> I just gave up like 90% of the way through. Alright, so we're gonna go to this guy next. And then we'll head to the other side of the map. Oh shit, we didn't get interrupted that time. Nice. I heard rumors of a place in the British Empire that might have something to do with the cursed sword. When I arrived, I found a ruined mansion. Out of courtesy, I knocked before entering the seemingly abandoned building. Inside, I found old portraits on the walls and furniture covered in dust. When I reached the central courtyard, I heard footsteps. What do we have here? A guest? It has been ever so long. Are you a friend of Lord Valentine? May I inquire as to your name? The man spoke politely, but he had a dangerous air about him. I gave him my name, careful not to take my eyes off of him. Oh, how surprisingly candid of you. My name is Fiddler. Since you've come all this way, I feel I should tell you a bit about the place. This was once the estate of the renowned merchant and noble Lord Valentine. See that crest? It once adorned the prows of the merchant gallows and harbors from London to Venice and the world beyond. He was brilliant, but sadly grew erratic not long after he began his research into the alchemical arts. His wits faded as his obsession for something called Soul Edge grew. He squandered his fortune and died of sickness along with his beloved wife. And now, well, see for yourself what has become for him, of his legacy. He had an exceptionally beautiful daughter, but no one knows what became of her. Some say his madness transformed itself into his daughter's curse. <laughs> anyway, I believe I've assumed enough for today. Miser, be a dear and help me flank this fool. I glanced over my shoulder and was shocked to see a woman dressed in eastern garb standing right behind me. It looks like this fiddler had been buying time until his partner showed up. You're as cowardly as ever, fiddler. You were also wise to wait for me. You see, friend, this is our, oh, what do you call it, secret base? Yes, that sounds right. Now that you've seen us, we simply can't let you leave alive. You face number eight, Fiddler and the Butcher now. I know, I'm known as number five, the Breaker. Let's do this. All right, I'm going to take a bong wait. Rip. P.S. The count may be weeks. I was very pleased with that Halloween costume. Especially because I literally bought it the day before Halloween. little move there. There we go. Shit. Jesus Christ. Shit, that was so close. The soul of a warrior now lays here to rest. Fight. <laughs> 
right, one down. Just needed a second try. Not bad. I'm impressed you could hold your own against both of us. Although I had managed to hold off their attacks thus far, these two were incredibly skilled fighters. I was considering just how to make my escape when a shout rang out from somewhere in the house. Hey, stop playing around, you idiots. Number three is almost back. A large man wielding a giant sword appeared in a window at the top of the mansion. Next to him stood a crafty-looking old man with a monocle. If Shylock comes back and sees us held off by this peon, he'll kill us for sure. Bilk! Greed! Lend us a hand here, if you please. There was no way I'd survive if my opponent's numbers grew further. I made a split-second decision and bolted for the exit. Good choice, sis. How long I ran, I don't know. It didn't appear that I was being pursued, but I thought it was wise to not stop until I was far, far away. I don't know who those people in the mansion were, but they were too good to be mere, th mere thieves and bandits. And now that they knew my face and my name, it would be my in my best interest to never go near that place again. Yikes. Alright, yes. End expedition. And... Bless my days. Is it really you? When I arrived at the Lord's Manor, I was greeted by the familiar voice of his daughter. She trotted to the gate and pushed it open for me. She seemed in good health. My worries were, thankfully, for naught. It is so wonderful to see you again. <laughs> you seem so surprised. As you can see, I am much better. Father, you'll never guess who's here. Come quickly. It's Brona. As I live and breathe, what a pleasure to see you again. What ho? Are those white truffles you have there? Oh my! The word thank you does not, it does not do enough to express my gratitude. Naturally, bringing fresh truffles directly from Italy was impossible, so I had bought, brought Italian-grown dried ones. Though this affected their taste, there was little I could do about that. Hopefully she would be able to make something nice with them. I handed her the truffles and made a leave but was stopped by a tug at my sleeve. Please stay a little while longer. You must allow me to prepare you something to eat this time, though I cannot promise anything sophisticated. Aw, how cute. Hey, Juliver, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you're doing well on this Tuesday. A short while later, she presented an Italian dish called fungi, a mushroom pasta. <laughs> What a tantalizing smell. Even the god's mouths must be watering. Brona, do you know where this dish originated? Some say pasta came from this very land. When I told her I didn't know that, she blushed. I read it in a book. I have spent most of my life in this house, leafing through dusty tomes and dreaming of the world outside. Pasta traveled from here all the way to Italy. I hope to make the same journey myself one day. But will I ever get a chance to see the wonders of the world? Aw. I wanted to tell her that the world was a dangerous and scary place, but I bit my tongue. Good. Don't spoil this moment, Brona. She was intelligent, so no doubt she, are, she understood that already. What kind of person would I be if I robbed her of her dreams? Instead, I told her about the strangely bittersweet noodles I had eaten in a place far to the east of Italy. Cute. The oasis city of Samarkand had been a center of trade for thousands of years, the wealth and power of commerce fueling its development into a great metropolis. When more than just goods pass through the city, people do as well, ever coming and going. A letter addressed to me arrived at my inn in Samarkand. One of the lines read, I would be most grateful if you could bring me some cacao beans. The center had neglected to, su 
to sign their name, but the handwriting looked familiar. It looked to be sent by the rich lord's daughter. But why did she feel the need to contact me in this indirect manner? I searched my memory for everything I knew about cacao beans. If I remembered correctly, the beans were used as the base for a drink in the New World called Zocotl. Uh, it was especially popular among the native people in Middle America. Um, I'd never seen the beans for myself. Perhaps if I headed to Spain or a place where Spanish merchants traded, I might find something. For the sake of the Lord's daughter, I was willing to give it a try. Oh, we're gonna go. Okay, so this is pretty close. And then. Nice. Oh shit, level 17. I remember we were. We tried to do that at one point and just uh, did not work. Did not go well. Um, I'm actually going to be right back super quick. Shouldn't be more than a minute, but then we'll do this quest with Song Mina. And we are back. I'm also going to take a quick bong grip before we get started again. And there we go, see Sogmida. I saw a woman practicing fighting techniques alone in a sprawling meadow. Although I had not re yet reached the Dojong, it seemed I had come across a worthy opponent. Huh? Well, it isn't Brona, so you finally came. Mina came running over to me with a big smile on her face. I asked her why she was training outside of the town. The Dojong was starting to get a little stuffy, so I thought a change in scenery would do me some good. As it turned out, Mina's father, Han Myung, was uh, keeping a watchful eye over her to ensure she didn't run away again. It seemed Mina had not fully regained her father's trust yet. I told him I'm committed to protecting my country and won't go anywhere, but he won't believe me. It's so irritating. Mina pursed her lips in frustration, but before long a smile returned to her face. Anyway, enough about that. So, Brona, since you happened to stop by, we should have a quick sparring match. I couldn't beat you before, but I've been training and have gotten a lot better. So get ready to lose, big time. I mean, she could very well be right, folks. Battle one. Oof, 
There we go. Jesus. See, she could very well be right. Keep trying to dash in, and apparently I'm not double tapping fast enough. There we go. Oof. All right. Are we going to finish her off with a special? I think we are. Love to see it. It's kind of fun losing a match now and then. It keeps the tension high. Ugh, this stinks. Looks like I'm not the only one that got stronger. I guess I have to devote even more time to my training. Oh, that reminds me. Mina, no longer sullen, quickly raised her head. Would you mind doing a little something for me? I nodded and told her that if there was anything I could do, I would do it. Morale isn't what it used to be at the dojo these days. Wong and my father are busy and spend a lot of time away. So what I want to ask you is, in order to fill the pupils of the Song Jong with a sense of purpose again, she requested that I show up and pretend to challenge the Dojong to a fight for their honor. Uh, now that I think about it, if we cause a store like that, stir like that, the Dijon my, fa my father might get really upset again. Uh, okay, I'll bring the others here instead. <laughs> Alright, let's meet up here again later. Thanks for agreeing to help! <laughs> Alright, well, I did technically agree to help. I waited at the location we agreed on and soon me not arrive with a group of pupils in town. She doesn't look so Excuse me. Why are you guys talking so much shit? I volunteered to help you out. I'm trying- I'm trying to do something nice for you. Oh, Jesus Christ. I forgot Mina is kind of framing us as the bad guys in this. I'm going uh, to intermittently press the X button while I load another bowl for my bong. Oh shit, we might be about to fight. Let me... There we go. Holy shit. Okay, four opponents remaining.
Oh shit. There we go. Okay. Okay. One more. Oh, geez. Let's see if we can do this. Let's go. All right, now I can load myself a bowl. Lady Mina lost? How is she this strong? Lady Mina? Oh no! <laughs> Feels so bad. I'm sorry, Muna. Your soul surges in your body. All right. I think we're gonna end this expedition because. I don't think I'm ready to try on level 72 over there. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to exit the mode. Not yet, at least. Might switch it up and do uh, some, like, arcade mode or duels in a little bit. Do what? What's this? Oh, just another insertion strength thing. All right. We received new information from Aval. An astral figure had appeared in Greece and Aswell was heading its way. On our way to Greece, we met back up with Gro. He had completed his mission. Sir, you are okay. I have read your reports. You have done well. Thank you. So Aswell has grown in strength yet again. He himself said that if he acquires... I'm sorry, we're going to skip it. <laughs> Counter hits do more damage. Oh, wait, no. I don't want to. I do not want to call a mercenary. I should maybe equip. Wait, no, that's. Ugh. 
Ooh, I like that auto grapple break. Let's try that and see how that goes for us. Oh, I thought I dodged, but I think I accidentally hit the L1 button. Fucking turned it around on me. Still got him though. Decide what I want to do next. Some arcade mode or some random duels. Or just continue with story mode. Or switch to a new game, honestly. Hmm. I'm gonna load a bowl while I think about it. So I forgot to do that when I originally intended to because then I got attacked by six enemies back to back. <laughs> That's the most enemies I've fought in a row and I honestly did not think that I was going to be able to uh, to cinch that one. Hmm. Let's keep going with our story mode thing, at least for the time being. Oh shit. Fucking level 50 as well. No. Um. I thought there might be an opportunity to get better, uh. Or, like, improve my equipment, but maybe not. <laughs> I just want to see what this is. I don't think I'm going to travel. 
all the way over here. Well, maybe I will. That's not... That's not too far out of the way. I'm probably... Yeah. I'm good at getting ambushed. Let me take a bong rip before I have to beat the shit out of this masked weirdo. Yikes. Got got. The soul of a warrior now lays here to rest. Oh, so I just have to start the expedition over. That's not that's not the worst. There he goes. Cool. Nice. We have arrived. Jesus Christ. Damn, he broke right through my guard. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay.
overkill, but worth it. Permanently soul charge. All right, sure. I'll try it out. Gosh, talk about magic pixel. Nice. Got him. All right, we will end that expedition. Um, yeah, that's a higher level. Ooh. It's a considerable amount of damage over this. Mm, I think I'm going to stick with this one, though, because the critical rate is pretty high, and then the other effects are also pretty high. And I can't augment that high-level Flamberge. Alright, so... We're going to try to fight as well. <laughs> with these I shall move in to offer support let us go all right sounds good bud we'll see how this goes Jesus. Yikes. The soul of a warrior. 
Let's give that another shot. Okay. I think we survived long enough. Ah, join me. Do you really believe you can win? <laughs> win or lose, I don't care. I'm here because I despise you. That's it. Super Saiyan grow, all right. Have you abandoned all reason? Oh shit, dude. Oh, shit. Did not expect that. Fighting time. All right, so we're going to go back to Smarkin first and then Kashgar. Sorry, I know I'm just skipping on through, but... <laughs> All right, and then... I hammered a metal! All right, so three enemy, I can handle this, yeah. I believe this is another quest for the uh, eccentric blacksmith uh, who's in Kashgar. Oops. There we go. Bolta, that's her name. Your soul surges in your body.
I think, again, our current sword is, like, pretty fucking good compared to everything we have. Also, back in Daka. Can't remember what this quest line is, and you know what? Can't be bothered to remember. <laughs> You thought you could escape my special move. You cannot. Right, we are helping build up these towns so much. Oh yeah, I forget that there's like a points to buy extra stuff in this game. You know what? Let's go. Let's go see what we haven't bought from the museum so far. Okay, so we need to unlock more of the literature. Literature. Yes. Yes. Ooh, 20 to 25. Nice. All right. Oh, geez. Uh, I feel like I can do that. Yes. So let's buy some more shit. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh. Okay. It's literature. Okay. There we go. I'm sure I'll unlock the rest eventually. Uh, this one, these ones I don't have to like buy. It's 59 of 59. Oof. I do not have nearly enough points to do that. That's fine. I'll save them up. Let's get back to the story mode.
All right, back to Athens. Investigations. So it seems like much of this turmoil is caused by uh, BFF trauma between like these five people. Because it's Gro, Natalie, Dion, Curtis, and Aswell. Is the fucking friendship slash rivalship slash enemy slash lover slash I don't know whatever the fuck Pentagon. Um, in this organization. At least that's what I gather. When we arrived at the organization's hideout, we were greeted by a nervous of all agent. Something wasn't right. Sorry, needed to open my window. After a short hushed, hushed conversation, Natalie turned to me. We're leaving now, Brona. The three of us hurried out of town. Astral Fisher has been sighted just north of here. I'm shut. Okay. Let's go take care of that, Brona. Not me struggling to get my blanket around me. <laughs> Cozy gaming. Fiendorf shop. Let's sort by uh oh wait. That's what I meant to Oh yeah, no. Alright, so only one enemy. Nice. I love using that little spinny sword bit. in your body. Ooh, story thing down there. I think if I I think if I travel here, this will be the closest way to get down to this. Tomb Raider gossip. Oh, 
All right, sure. Short Tomb Raider. I don't know if we're going to be able to manage this. Okay, two opponents remaining. try it again though. I think I am going to call it relatively soon. Um, I'll have to check what time it is. Okay. I might get a little cheesy, but it's because this constraint is difficult. Holy shit, that was close. By the skin of our teeth, we fucking got it. Let's go. Your soul surges in your body. Ooh, shit. Oh, that sounds tough. Mm. 
I think I'm gonna continue my expedition elsewhere. Um, let's. What's this? Artificial scripture screams. Holy shit. Yeah, we gotta check that out. Only low attacks are effective. Alright. We'll see how this goes. Might have bitten off more than I can chew. There we go. Fuck. Even if I wasn't so successful with using the uh, low blows. I think we are going to go for maybe another 25 minutes until 11pm my time and then we're going to call it a night. Alright, so what's this? Cult follower. Only metal attacks and throws are effective. I feel like we can pull this one off.
There we go. Ooh, four opponents remaining. Let's go. Nice. Three left. Two left. There we go. All right, one more. Let's see if we can pull this off first try. Oh, shit. Yikes. Close though. The warrior now lays here to rest. Hmm. All right, maybe I will listen to you, Combat Tip. And uh, use a mercenary in this mission. Nice. Let's uh let's use some food. I mean we have so much of it. Um amount owned. Oh, welcome back, Maeve. You haven't missed much. We're still doing some story mode. We lost the last time, so I'm trying to decide if I want to, um... Yeah, you know what? Let's try that. And then... Pick a food for me. Uh... Ooh, that's... Pretty tempting. Um... Let's do some mead. All right, we'll see how this goes. We're gonna let a let a mercenary fight for us at first, and I'm actually gonna take a bong grip while uh, while this dude takes the reins for us. Shit, you go, dude. Fuck. Bong. Fight. 
All right. Still. Came in clutch. Got me through two opponents. Oh. Oh my god, girl, get up. Oof, okay. Two more opponents remaining. Okay, one more remaining. Ah, oh, shit. I must not get blocking in this game because I definitely thought I was blocking. Alright, we'll give this a shot some other time. Um... That's 72... Oh, oh, there's so many more character quests that have popped up. Holy shit. I guess I better go do those. <laughs> Deep ravine. Ooh. Oh god, that's so expensive. Why? Maybe if I go this way, I can skip the price tag, perhaps? And that also means we get to meet Ivy, so. I'm not gonna lie, being bund bundled up like Baby Yoda and watching you play makes happen. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Uh, no, I'll just... it's fine. Alright, Ivy. Let's, let's just get to it. Christ. I know when I've been had. Oh, 
Oh, she got me. I know when I've been had. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, it's definitely just because I wanted to hear her voice lines more and, and not because she was absolutely kicking my ass. Uh. How do we feel about, um, I guess getting our ass kicked one more time by Ivy in all likelihood? Um, but maybe finishing the night with a, a quick round of uh, mercenaries mode. Jeez. Yeah, I believe you mean Miss Jiggle Physics. I got her down a little bit farther than I did before, at least. We're just gonna give this one a rest, I guess. Yeah, maybe we could do this one instead. Lost little bird. Oh, this is that Tira character. Alright, sure, I'll listen. No, stop it! <laughs> I'm sorry. Dead ass, you could read a phone book to cover, cover to cover, and I'd be entertained. I appreciate that. I appreciate that much, Lay. Let's go. Love a special finisher. Hmm. I'm still deciding what I want to try what I want to do. I think we are going to do a little bit of mercenaries mode. Uh before we wrap it up. 
at least one set of stages as Lady Dimitras, because... I mean, whenever we do mercenaries mode, you know, we just gotta. So let me switch up. I try to be vigilant about switching categories when I need to. Ooh. If Twitch will search for the category. I wonder if this, I think I have a command for this. Let me see if this will work. Or let me. Ricky Fox is playing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to search for this command. Uh. Set game. Okay, that's the command. Is it showing that the category is Resident Evil Village now. Oh, I guess I could open my Twitch app and check. Okay, yes, it did take it. Nice. All right. Glad to know that that command works. All right, so we are going to pull up Resident Evil Village. And, uh,. Do a little fooling around in mercenaries mode <laughs> yet again. I also really liked the Shadows of Rose DLC. Um, 
I like thought it was an interesting change of pace in terms of how it was played versus uh, the base game was played. Um, and I, yeah, I really liked the story overall too. The combat was a little grueling at times, but. <laughs> Say lovey, especially with uh, Resident Evil games, it seems. All right. All right, and. There we go. Nice. Okay. Damn, we've triple S'd everything as Lady Dimitrescu. That's wild. I, I forgot that we had done that. But you know what? We're going to do it again. And we're going to do it in the man village because this is like probably the most fun mercenaries level if I'm being entirely honest. But let me double check. Okay, everything's squared away. Good to go. So I'm actually going to improve the flies first. We'll see how this goes. I feel good about it. There we go. That's not... Please? There we go. Ooh, yes. There we go. Ah, uh, lost our combo. That's all right, though. <laughs> I'm just going to go in here and grab some stuff. Another choke slam. Ooh, 
Oh, that's hard. Blood sacrifice or agile? Ugh, I'm gonna do agile. Might regret that. Oh. Nice. You know what? Just because Thrill doesn't carry between stages. We'll summon the daughter for fun. We love seeing a queen play a queen. Thank you. That's very flattering. I love that idol animation. It's so good. <laughs> All right. Hmm. keep going playing as Lady Dimitrescu is so genuinely fun Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Nice! Full combo, baby. Let's get that bonus time and this power up. Alright. Ooh, yes. Let's do that one. Tiny, eggy lesbian plays big lesbian. Yeah, that's a fantastic subtitle to this stream. 100%. Okay. Huh. I picked up less than I thought on that run. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, let's do this, and then... These hands are more dexterous. Okay. I feel pretty good about that. Start. 
It delights me that she can choke slam even like these uh, tough kinds of enemies. Alright, we lost it, but that's okay. Can I please? Can I? Thank you. Ooh, yeah. Gruesome gourmet might be a good idea. Zip line time. <laughs> The fact that I'm slowly fall starting to fall asleep proves it. I should do a podcast of some kind. I have always wanted to take on a voice acting gig. <laughs> gonna improve the claws more also the vanity and the flies wait can we get anything else no I should start using lipsticks more often.
Another choke slam. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Bella. Oh, um. There we go. Let's fucking go. Yeah, let's do in fighter. Sorry, bud. Yes, Lady Scissor Hands. Hell yes. Fuck, full fucking combo, baby. I'm gonna grab this other shit. So I can sell it. <laughs> All right. We have time. We have over ten minutes. All right. So I think we can fully upgrade. The rest of our weapons. And I still have enough to buy vigorous vanity. So what I'm going to do, I have an idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll see how it works. Why do you treat me the same as them? Cena, that's so sad.
Nice. Nice. Not a bad score. All right. I'm going to consider that a dub for the night. Um, so, like I said, I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. It was always it was a lot of fun, like always. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your night. And uh, I will uh, hopefully be streaming tomorrow at roughly the same time, maybe a little bit later. Um, but uh, either way, I uh, hope to see you there. And even if I don't, I hope you have a great rest of your week.